Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. Hallelujah. I take this opportunity to welcome you to this today's broadcast in the name of the Lord. So welcome so that we share the word of God. I also thank my God for the time he has given us even in last year 2022 and now he has given us another chance 2023. To me, I see God in everything because even reaching a new year, it takes the hand of God. So many people wanted and they decided to see the date of today and even to reach the year 2023, but they were unable. But even you, wherever you are, you need to thank God because of the time he has given us so that we can continue with our activities and our daily chores but most importantly we need to thank God so God bless you so much welcome today uh, my name is Pastor Samboy I'm a servant of God I do the work of God in the city of Nairobi the church is called Cathedral of Praise Ministries International which is located along Kangundo Road at a place called Njiru. When you reach Njiru, there is Ola Energy, which we used to call Ola Petrol Station. Behind it is where we are. And I've realized that we are very close to the road. Initially, I thought we were far, but when I went to the church and uh, I decided to do some few measurements, I realized that we are very close to the road, almost 150 meters, 150 to 200 meters. That is half a field from the main road. We are there, in, it's there that's where we are located. And I welcome you to our services, which are on Sundays. And we start our services as from 9.30, then we finish at 12.30. And God is good. He has been blessing us. So many people have come. They've been blessed. You, you are also invited to come and be blessed with others. And God will bless you. Today, I have a short message. For you the Lord has put something in my heart looking back what he has done for us in the previous year and the far he has brought us I have a message for you and the message is entitled the faithfulness of God so I want to talk about God's faithfulness because he's a good God. And before I read the word of God, I'd like us to bow down our heads and pray. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you and I bless you, Lord, this morning for you are great. You've done us well, Lord. You've taken care of us. You have seen us through the year 2022 and you have now brought us to the year 2023. Lord, it's, it's a joy, great joy in our hearts because what you've done unto us, O oh Lord, it's a favor. It's by thy grace. And I thank you because of every one of us whom you made sure that reached 2023. I thank you, Lord, even because of Lolo TV, because of the occasion and the chance that they have given us to come 
and give a message to your people. Father, I thank you. Bless Lulu TV. Bless the, 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 the workers of Lulu TV. Bless the management of Lulu TV. Bless the, the entire crew who are making sure that this message reaches all corners of this country. Father, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Wherever you are, I'd like you to say, Amen. <clears throat> uh, I want to read from the book of Isaiah chapter 25. We are going to read only one of us, that is verse 1. So that we hear what the Lord is having for us. And the Bible is saying this, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Allow me to share this short message with you this day of today. And I know that we are in the new year 2023. And God has been faithful. And the Bible says that God is very patient with us. Even if we have sinned against God, the Bible says that he is a patient God. He bears with us. Sometimes we go extreme as human beings. Sometimes we do things that are contrary to the word of God. But God, who lives not with men, but he lives in men. Men who walks with him? Man who knows him. Man who serves him. He doesn't stay here on earth. God abodes in heaven. The Bible says that the earth is his footstool. But heaven is where he is seated. Meaning heaven is where God dwells. And Isaiah was a prophet of God. Isaiah was a servant of God whom God appointed and God anointed so that he can carry the message of God to the people. And God used to talk to Isaiah on various occasions. God used to give Isaiah directions and messages to go and deliver to the people of God. Isaiah was one of the mighty prophets of God. And God used him in a mighty way. But God is still there. God still speaks to his people. God still takes care of his people and he looks over them. And now here, Isaiah was talking to God. And he was telling God, Oh Lord, you are my God. He is starting by telling God that you are, Oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. Now, this is somebody who has taken his time to understand who God is. And this is somebody who has been close to God and walking to God. And this is somebody who has been hearing from God every now and again. And he said that, oh Lord, you are my God. Why was Isaiah telling God that you are my God? And he said that I will exalt you and I will praise your name. It means 
that Isaiah saw something in God that he can never find anywhere else. He realized that this God, he is a loving God. This God, he is a good God. That's why he was saying that you are my God. Wherever we are, we need to understand that there is God who loves his people. There is God who is faithful. There is God who hears the cries and the prayers of his people. And he's a good God. And I sigh because of the many times he used to walk with God. And because of the several occasions he, has met, he met God. And because of the several messages God gave him to go and give to his people. He came to realize that this God, for sure, he is his God. The topic I'm talking about is faithful God. Faithful God. He said that you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. You know, when God is your God, you have a duty towards that God. You have a particular function you need to do to carry out to that God. And this is what Isaiah was doing. After realizing that God is his God, he never said that you are our God. No. He said you are my God. Meaning that he was singling himself because he knew that this God, he is mine, not ours. <coughs> Excuse me. So he was saying that you are my God. God is mine. God is yours. And at the same time when we come together, God is ours. But when I am alone, I know that that God is mine because I am an individual. As an individual, independent person, God is my God and me alone. Don't misunderstand me. He is our God, yes. When we are together, he is our God. But when I am alone, this God is my God. And that's why I can exalt him as an individual. The person who has known God, who has an intimacy with God. Who has a deep relationship with God. So I can say that he is my God. Because he loves me. I've seen the working, workings of God in my life. I've seen him doing good and great things in my life. That's why I can exalt his holy name. That's why I can worship this God. That's why I can bow down to this God. That's why I can call his name when I am in trouble. As a child of God, you need to call upon this God even when you are alone. Don't wait for somebody to come and I tell you to call upon the name of God or even to urge you to do something for God. If you know that God is your God, you are supposed to do something for this God as an individual. Somebody who knows that I belong to this God. And exactly, he, Isaiah was saying that I will praise your name. Brethren, wherever we are, we need to stand with God. And when we, we, we know and we realize that he is ours. You know what? I was born. And my parents gave birth to me. And I was not alone. They gave birth to some other children who are my siblings. Now when I am alone, I refer to them as my parents. But when we are together as their children, 
we refer to them as our parents. So there is a time you need to realize that God is your God when you are alone. But when you are in the midst of a congregation, then you, he is your God. You are God in plural, meaning you are many now. You are not alone. So this is what Isaiah was doing. Whenever he was alone, he was praising the name of the Lord. He was exalting the name of the Lord because he was Isaiah. And he said, if you have done wonderful things, for you have done wonderful things, your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Maybe you have not seen something that God has done to your life that deserves praise, that deserves exaltation. You have never seen anything much according to you which God has done to you. But let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you today that you might not be seeing what God has done to you. But remember that during Corona, so many people were affected. While others were infected with the virus. And all these people, they were in the same group. If you had a patient, you were feeling it. If you are the patient, you are feeling it. But remember, there was one funny thing with Corona. It was cutting off oxygen. That's why those ones who are critically ill were being taken to the wards. Others were in ICU. And they were, they were put on oxygen. Because without that oxygen, they can die anytime. And this is what I want to illustrate to you, that God has given you a free oxygen. If God can only cut off the oxygen that we are having right now, the oxygen that every one of us is, is breathing, God can cut it off. Because the oxygen belongs to God. The one we are using outside here is not being manufactured by man. It's something that God himself made. So if you think that there is nothing that God has done to you, just remember the oxygen you are breathing and how expensive the oxygen is for one hour. Now, how many years have you been breathing free oxygen from God? So, there is nobody on earth that can say that he has not seen what God has done to him or the important thing that has come from God to him. God has done something. He has done so many things in the lives of people. So, that's why I say saying that for you, you have done wonderful things. There are wonderful things that God has done. He has done wonderful things. And these wonderful things he has done, he has done them to people. Others are seen, others are unseen. But you see, the problem with, 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 with men, with human beings, is, <coughs> Excuse me. is that they are after miracles. It's when they are going to say that God has done it. They want miracles for them to know that God has done it. But God is not a man that he has done a miracle. No. God can do something to somebody, even something very small, that you cannot achieve by your own strength. God can make it prevail unto you. The Bible says that his counsels of old are faithful and truth. So God, he has been faithful even in the old times. And he has remained truthful even up to now. He has never changed because time has gone. The Bible says that 
He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So there is not even a single day that, that God is going to change. And he also said that his words will never pass away. Everything in this world is going to pass away. But the words of God are going to abide there. They are going to stay forever and ever. So it is better for us to stay in the word of God. Because this word is going to stay forever. But it's going to sustain us until the last minute we are going to breathe our last breath. The word of God is going to sustain us. Then we are going to go and leave the word of God continuing. I want us to read from the second book of Timothy. Second book of Timothy. Chapter 2. Verses 13. Chapter 2. <coughs> But before I read Timothy, let us read, let us read uh, Psalms 119 verses 90. It says this, Your faithfulness is unto all generations. The faithfulness of God is unto all generations. You have established the earth and it abides. The Bible says that the faithfulness of God is unto all generations. Let me tell you, if you have read in the Bible, you know that there was at a particular time when some people tried to oppose Moses, the servant of God. And when they tried to oppose Moses, the Bible says that God separated them. And when they were separated, the Bible says clearly that God opened the earth. And these people, with their families and their belongings, were swallowed alive. And then the earth again came and closed itself. What does it mean? That they were trying to oppose the movement of God. They were trying to oppose the workings of God. They were trying to disobey the voice of God. And God never bothered to kill them. God decided to bury them alive. <coughs> Excuse me. So these people, they were not... Excuse me. These people, they were not killed by God. But the Bible is saying what? They were buried alive. That is God whom I'm talking about. But it reached a time that God looked at man and the activities of man. And he realized that some of them were foolishness. So he decided to come in another different form. And that's what the Bible says that the, that, that, that the Bible is saying that your faithfulness is unto all generations. The faithfulness of God is unto all generations. Right now you can even mock God. Right now, even you can even insult God. Right now, you can even say there is no God. Right now, you can even talk about so many things against God. But the Bible is saying what? God is God. He is still going to remain faithful. Right now, God has, is not in a hurry to destroy people. No, because the time is coming. When all destruction will take place. So he's trying to bear it a little. For a while. With people. So that people can realize that this God. If we work with him. And we walk with him. He is faithful. How many things. Have you tried to get from God. And God has answered. How many things. Have you tried to receive from God? 
and you receive them. The Bible says that he is faithful. Let me tell you, somebody who is faithful is taking care of his people. That's why when we pray, God hears. But another, another, another thing that you need to know is that God is above all. He can do whatever he wants because he's above all. But he bears with us. And he provides for us. And he takes care of us. Now let us go to the book of, of 2 Timothy. The last book that I wanted to read. It says this, chapter 2, verse 13. If we believe not, yet he abides faithful. He cannot deny himself. Do you believe that God is faithful? Because if he believe not, he himself is going to still abide faithful. He's going to remain faithful. He's going to continue to be faithful. He will never change. His faithfulness will never change. Do you believe today that God is faithful? Even those ones who does not believe that he is faithful, does not affect the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God continues and he remains faithful. So it is upon us now. It is upon us now to believe and trust in that God and to, to, to know that his faithfulness endures forever. He will never change his faithfulness. He says that, 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 that he cannot deny himself. God cannot deny himself because he is God. God made the earth and everything else. He looked at them and he said they were good. And since then, Akuna Ukarabati, there is nothing else. There are no repairs that God has done on this earth. Since he did his creation, there is no repairs God has done. It remains the same way God did it. And it was perfect. He finished his job and everything is still perfect up to now. All those years the world has existed, they are in the form God made it. So God cannot deny himself because he is God and he compares himself to none other. It's now our duty to believe in this God and to trust in him and to know that he loves us and he takes care of us. That's why he sent his son Jesus to come and die. That is a form of faithfulness to man. That because I know that men are, are, are going astray from my word, from my instructions, from my commandments. Now let me send my only son to go and die for them. That is a sign of faithfulness that he loved us. I don't know how, 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 how you are with God. I don't know what you think about God. But he remains faithful. And if you are, not, you, are not, you are not right with God, God wants you to be right with him today. And even right now. I want to pray with someone. Someone who wants to receive the Lord. And abide with him and experience the faithfulness of God. Can I pray with someone who wants to receive this Lord. And he's going to say that you are Lord my God today. Can we... Close our eyes as we are going to pray. If you want to be with this God, I want you to say the way I'm going to say. Say, Lord, I know that you are faithful. I know that you are my God. You sent your only son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for me. I pray that may I be forgiven all my sins because Jesus died to forgive me all my sins. Take away my name from the book of death. Write it in the book of life. Save my soul, Jesus, and set me free. In your holy name I pray and believe. Amen. Let us pray now. Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for my viewer this hour and this moment. 
Jehovah God, you know what is passing through. You know his life. You know, Lord, what he needs. Father, those ones who have come before you because they trust in you, and even those ones who are going to come before you by seeing this, this broadcast, Lord, I pray that may you answer their prayers. May you touch them. May you, Lord, speak and minister unto them and do good upon their lives. Father, let them have a testimony that you are doing it, that you are able, because you are faithful. I thank you and bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. God is going to do something upon your life. God is going to visit you. God is going to answer your prayers. Just be steadfast in the Lord. He is faithful. If you have prayed a prayer of salvation, look for a good church where the word of God is being preached. Go there and fellowship with them. And God will bless you. Amen. My numbers are 0722 944 623 That is Airtel. On the screen here you can see them. When you have anything or you want us to pray or there is a question you need to ask or there is anything else you need concerning the word of God call those numbers I'll be available and God bless you so much in Jesus name Amen Shalom Eternal Father I offer you 